Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. I am so excited to be here with you today. I have some exciting announcements and I will be announcing, you can now add up to three guests to your broadcast. Awesome. I will be announcing the winner of the 2022 Monetize Your Magic survey contest. So stay tuned for that. So something that I really want to talk about today is creating your heart-centered business. And I know that so many of you are pharmacists who are probably burnt out and you're working back to back, maybe 10, 12, 14 hour shifts like I was back in 2019. And just want to tell a little bit of my story so that you can know what's possible for you. And I'll describe a little bit more about this Elevate Entrepreneur Healing Summit that I am hosting coming up in February. So I know what it's like to be burnt out, to work back-to-back 12-hour shifts and not be able to go outside, to take a, a walk outside or get a proper meal break or a proper you know, bathroom break. And for me, whenever I was going through that, you know, I had always worked for independent pharmacies. And so there was a little bit more flexibility there. But when I worked for a corporate retail pharmacy back in 2019, I was miserable. I would walk into work every day and just dread the long list of tasks that I knew I had to complete. And it was just so draining for me. And as an empath, and if you're joining with me, give me some hearts here. Let me know that you're here. As an empath and a person that, and that call, (laughs) of course, um, everybody's calling now that I'm on Facebook Live. So I felt really trapped. I felt like I knew I had soul gifts inside of me. I knew that I was a leader meant to make a huge impact out in the world, but I didn't really know how to translate that into a business. And so I was going into work every day, seeing this long laundry list of tasks that had to be done. And I started to get panic attacks and I actually had to go on Zoloft because I was so burnt out. I was working 12 hour shifts. And for those of you who are pharmacists in the retail setting, even in hospital, I'm not sure, you know, if you guys get breaks too, but it was very, um, it was very stressful. I started to see my mental health decline very quickly. I started working in a retail setting, in a corporate retail setting in August of 2018. And I had to go on Zoloft a few months later. And so this Elevate Entrepreneur Healing Summit is something that I think has been a a really a long time coming where I want to show you what's possible for your business, for your heart-centered business. And that is really where I come in and I can help to show you the pathway to help you release some of these inner blocks. I do a lot of that inner transformation work to help you with imposter syndrome, the fear of being seen, everything that comes up whenever you're starting a business. I get it. I understand. I've been through this journey for the last decade. And so I really, um, I have a heart for pharmacists especially who are really just burnt out you don't know how to translate your gifts into a solo line business and so just kind of going a little bit back to my story so um i had no idea i had tried to do it on my own for the first seven years of my business i was um i went through a residency program i became a health coach and i really didn't have much success in my business i was making probably less than $10,000 a year in my business. And I was working part-time in independent pharmacies up until that point when I was working at a corporate retail pharmacy. And so what I realized was that I didn't, I couldn't do it by myself. I couldn't do it alone. And so an angel came through and I was just at my breaking point. Fast forward to March, end of March of 2019. And I was starting to have panic attacks. I would go into work every day, dreading all of the tasks that I had to do, dreading the people that I worked with who were constantly complaining and dragging my energy down. And at that point, I didn't have the the tools or the techniques to be able to protect my energy. And so I was absorbing all of this negativity. I was feeling really heavy. I was on Zoloft and just feeling so helpless. And... I got an email from a coach, a local coach here in the Pittsburgh area, and she was talking about how to create $10,000 months in your business. And I was like, 
how do I do that? Sign me up. That would be great. So I wound up going to one of her retreats. I hired her as a coach and I quit my job. I quit my job a couple of weeks after that. And a lot of us crave that certainty and security, right? We want to know I have a plan. This is how my, you know, I'm going to transition out of pharmacy. That's how it, this is how it's going to be. Um, I kind of took the opposite approach and just um, kind of burned the boats. And I said to myself, I declared, I said, I will never go back to this again because it was such an abusive environment where I felt like, you know, my human needs were denied and suppressed. I couldn't eat when I wanted to eat. I couldn't go to the bathroom. I couldn't get fresh air or have a proper break. And I know that there are a lot of initiatives right now going on to kind of talk to the, you know, legislators and, and go that approach, which is awesome. And, um, you know, advocate for change within the pharmacy space. And I want to do my part to bring what I've learned over the past several years through healing, through different techniques. If you choose to stay in pharmacy, how can you protect your energy? How can you calm your nervous system? What are some of those really key pieces to helping you stay healthy? Because I always found it was really ironic that you know, like I'm a healthcare professional and I'm burning myself out and helping other people get healthy. So there was kind of that, that mismatch in my mind. And so that's what I want to bring through this entrepreneur healing summit to bring you 16 different experts in the entrepreneurship space to help you with different tools and techniques. Um, and to also show you what's possible through their story, through um, the businesses that they've created. And so just kind of continuing on with, with my story. So um, I hired that business coach. It was the end of March, early April of 2019. And I got two clients right away. I had, just keep in mind, I had no, you know, trust fund. I, I didn't have a rich husband or anything like that. I just was so fed up. I was like, fuck it. Right. And I wrote about this in in this group it was just really my fuck it moment. And I didn't ever want to go back again. And I hired that coach. I got a couple quick clients. I recouped my investment very quickly because I implemented everything that she said to do. But then I hit a plateau and I hit a roadblock where I was starting to see that I would get on phone calls and enrollment calls, sales calls with people. And they'd be like, oh, not now, or I can't afford it. And so I started to see that there was this theme being threaded through my business. And even though I had the strategy and I had that business coach, I was still hitting that plateau. And so one thing that I was led to was a, a different coach who was a transformation coach. And she's no longer in, in practice right now, but I learned so much from her. And I realized that I had so much unworthiness programming from my childhood, from my past. And I had all of these inner blocks that were preventing me from reaching those higher levels of income and impact. So even though I had that strategy and I had the plan, it wasn't enough to keep that momentum going. And it was through doing a lot of this releasing work and healing work that I was able to replace my pharmacist income in 2019 and then create a multiple six figure business, creating that every single year consistently. And so this is the message that I wanna bring to pharmacy. I want people to know that it's not just the strategy that creates the outcome that you want, that will help you make that smooth transition out of pharmacy, out of your nine to five job. It does require that inner healing work. So I combine a lot of different tools and you're gonna learn a lot of tools from these other pharmacists and these other entrepreneurs at this entrepreneur healing summit, like, you know, tapping or hypnosis or meditation, breathing. And maybe you've heard these concepts before and you've tried it. And so I still want to encourage you to just come with an open mind, make sure that you are RSVPing. I'm going to leave a link to the, um, the summit below so that you get to experience what does it look like to deal with challenges in a totally different way? Instead of having to, you know, run on Red Bulls, you know, I, whenever I was working in pharmacy, I was running, I was drinking energy drinks constantly. And then I was feeling 
really anxious and that was perpetuating my anxiety. It was just a vicious cycle. And so this is going to be helping you deal with those stresses at the pharmacy if you choose to stay in pharmacy in a totally different way because it's helping you rewire your nervous system and reroute some of these patterns that we naturally have from being consistently trained and programmed being in the retail space. So for example, perfectionism is a huge thing that I see, a huge pattern that can actually block you from receiving higher levels of income and impact because perfectionism comes from a fear of needing to control. And so when you're in those control patterns, control comes from a fearful place. And so it's not allowing you to be in an expansive state energetically. And I describe all of this to you because I know that these conversations need to be had in pharmacy, in healthcare, because there's so many people that talk about burnout. And like I said, that's, that's great that we're taking these initiatives and talking to legislators about, you know, the pizza is not working. And what are the things that we can do now? I want this to be a movement where we are taking charge of our, our experience. It doesn't have to be, you know, just getting up and going through the motions and going to work every single day and continuing this cycle of burnout. And what I found is that, you know, me going through my journey was there for a purpose because now I'm here to help to create a path for other people. And that's what I've created in my Release and Rise program to help you transition smoothly out of your retail job, out of your hospital job, to create a profitable heart-centered business. And this is something that I have strategically mapped together over the last 10 years of trying all different things and you know, be hiring coaches and spending close to $300,000 on personal development work, on these different you know, inner, inner transformation, personal development and strategic business coaching and all of that to bring this together to help you. But you have to be committed. You have to have a real desire. I talked to so many women who are like, yeah, that sounds great, but maybe in like a couple of years. It, that's not the person that I want to work with. I want to work with people who are ready, who are committed and they're like, fuck it. I'm, I'm ready to just burn the boats and be done and use my gifts and bring my light to the world because that is why you're here. If you are still watching this video with me, I want you to know that you are here for a purpose. And when you really believe that in your gut, in your bones, that's when you start to make momentum. But if you don't really believe it, or if there's not that burning desire, like I need to have this happen in 2022, then you're going to get distracted. Other things are going to happen. It kind of just falls to the wayside. Like, yeah, I'll do that in a couple of years, right? When I committed in 2019, I was like, fuck it. I am so done. And I, this is my only path. Like I am only going forward and I'm creating this business. And it needs that energetic decision. You need that energetic decision to create the life that you want for yourself in 2022. So if this is something that you really want, and there's that strong desire to use your gifts out in the world, to have more time with your family, to be able to just relax and take two weeks off like I just did, it is possible for you. And you have to be so committed that nothing gets in your way. So a lot of people will say like, yeah, I want it, but like, eh, I, I don't have time right now. Or like, yeah, I want it, but I don't have the money. And what I want you to see is that that is just resistance. That is just kind of the, the wall that's keeping you safe in your comfort zone right now. And it doesn't have to. You have to be stronger than the fear. Your desire has to be stronger than all the excuses and all of the old programming. Because I'll say this, if you are, whatever the, the reason or the excuses that you're not moving forward in your business now is probably impacting you everywhere else in your life. So I'll just give you an example. If you say like, oh yeah, that's great. But like, I don't have time right now. Where else in your life are you saying, I don't have time? It's probably a pervasive habit and thought pattern that you're perpetuating in your life. And I say this with complete compassion to bring it to your awareness, to let you know 
that it's possible to break this pattern and to move forward to create the life that you want. But you have to have that desire. It has to be so strong that nothing gets in your way. And trust me, I get it because I've invested so much. Um, I just invested $20,000 with an, a coach that, that I'm working with right now. And part of me was like, uh, do I really want to spend that? Like, yeah, I've done that before, but like, do I want to do it again? And I had to go through that internal conversation of, yes, I am committed that much to my desire that I am willing to believe in myself that much that I'm going to invest this money and know that it's going to multiply, that it's going to pay off because I have that strong desire. And so the fear of investing, the fear of what if it doesn't work, doesn't fucking matter because I am so committed to creating this ripple effect, to creating this movement in pharmacy, to have more women, more empaths, to create heart-centered businesses, to bring more light and love into the world. And so that is, is the channel. When you have that strong desire, that strong passion that you're putting into your business every day, it's not going to feel like work. It's going to feel like I am pulled to this. I am pulled to creating something that brings more light and love into the world. And that is truly why businesses even exist, in my opinion. This is why my business exists, to create that domino effect of more love and light in the world. Of course, there's an energetic exchange, right? Like we need money to survive and to pay for things, but really money is an energy that's going to allow you to channel your creativity, your gifts out into the world. And so I want to just leave you with that to just really digest that and, and feel into your heart, like what would just be such an amazing outcome if you could fast forward your life even six months from now so say june of 2022 what would just be like the juiciest desire that you could think of that you would want to create and bring to the world maybe you want to create your first book or you want to launch your healing business whatever that is for you start taking action steps every single day now action steps that scare the shit out of you because that's how you start to you know kind of separate, I see it as separating from the old identity of staying small, staying hidden in fear and stretching yourself to energetically show the universe, hey, I'm here, I'm ready, let's go. And that's when things start to shift and move and transform because if you're staying stuck in the same old patterns and the same um, just contracted state of perfectionism and fear and oh, like, I don't know what to do, then it's not going to create the life that you want. You need to be taking those bold action steps every single day. And honestly, that's how I've created the success that I have. And the same is available to you, trust me. So now I'm going to uh, pick the the winner. So I have my cute little Santa, <laughs> Santa cup here. So um, the winner of this um, 2022 Monetize Your Magic survey contest is going to get 45 minutes with me to pick my brain, to ask questions, to whatever you want. So I'm just going to pick one name. And okay. Oh, Angela, Angela Cates. Congratulations. So Angela, what you'll do is you'll message Rachel, my assistant, Rachel Fagan, and she will send you my 45 minute client calendar. So I am so excited to connect with you. Everyone else, I am so excited for you to experience the magic that is going to happen in this group this year. I have so many amazing things planned. Make sure that if you are interested in signing up for the, the Entrepreneur Healing Summit that you RSVP because you're gonna be getting a Zoom link. You'll be getting a special invite to a three-day challenge I'm doing in February where you get three chances to win $200, which is gonna be awesome. So it's gonna be a manifesting challenge to help you elevate your business in 2022. So make sure that you are uh, subscribed to that. I will leave a link in, in the comments below and have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.